Okay, hello guys. So I'm currently sat in the fields right now and I have been for the past hour and a half just, I don't know, uh, relaxing and I've actually been doing some homework. <laughs> um, yeah. I did like homework for like an hour, maybe not a full hour, like half an hour and then I've just been sat doodling and I've listened to music on my speaker. Uh, yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been nice just to be in nature. Like, I don't think it really matters what you're doing in nature as long as you're actually here and you do connect to it at some point in your life because at the end of the day, as, as humans, this is our natural environment. And even though we've synth synthesised a new environment, which is, like, all fabricated and um, built up based on the ideas in our head, it's it's, like... I guess it's not what we are. Like, if we were constantly locked in a room all of our lives, we would become depressed. Simply because it's not our natural environment. And it's natural for us to move our bodies and get out and be in the sun and be in nature and be, I don't know, present, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit sunny, which is why I got these on. So, yeah. Um,. It's getting kind of chilly now, but it's alright. I don't mind. It's nice. I've had um, yeah. I don't know. Earlier, me and my friends we were talking about the meaning of life, and um, it was nice to get some like new perspectives on it because it is quite a deep topic to talk about, and um, it, I think it's much more interesting than all the trivial day-to-day. -day... Well, I guess it's small talk, isn't it? Just things like that. Uh, yeah, I don't really like that sort of talking. Like about things that don't really matter, like gossiping, for example. I don't really enjoy that much. Uh, what else don't I enjoy? I don't know. Uh, just a f just some tri trivial topics, which I don't really like to talk about. Uh, yeah. Anyway, meaning of life. <laughs> uh, so my friend, um, one of my friends who I was talking to about it was, uh, she took a very nihilistic approach. Like, it doesn't matter what you do because everything's pointless anyway. But my argument for that was, yeah, it doesn't matter in the bigger scale of film, in the bigger scale of things, because, like, on a universal level, yeah, everything is pointless, but we're not living on a universal level on this planet because we have fabricated societies and we've created, I don't know, I guess, um, illusory goals in life which we have to fulfil in order to fit in. And I don't just mean fit in, I mean, like, to be able to survive as well, because at the end of the day, we need money to live, and to get money, we need to get jobs. And, yeah, obviously we have to be a part of that system somehow, like, one way or another. We can't just completely side-check it and say, oh, it doesn't matter, everything's pointless anyway. Because I feel like we are on this earth, and it may not always give us the best circumstances, and we may not always enjoy the experience, but... I guess we can try and make the best out of the experience that we possibly can. And even I struggle with that sometimes. I struggle. I sometimes think, well, life's pointless, so what's the point? And, but I guess there is a point. And it is just your perspective on things, perhaps. Like, I always, that's what I always go back to. I always say it's just a perspective. But perhaps there is more than the perspective, which I haven't really gone down that route too much. Or maybe I've gone down it too much and I haven't, maybe enjoyed the ride as much because it made me feel a little bit like oh because imagine if it wasn't your perspective and if if the world really was pointless and meaningless which it probably is like i don't think there is an intrinsic meaning to the world i think everything just grows and everything just does its own thing like nature for example it just it grows like it's an organism and just like we're organisms but the only difference is it's in a different form because it's got like a different dna structure i guess and the only difference between people and trees is people are more neurotic like trees they don't give up when they grow into they don't like when the roots are going under the ground and they hit a rock, what did they do? Oh no, I'm gonna have to give up, I can't. I'm gonna have to sacrifice the rest of the tree from blossom blossoming just because I can't get this one root through this rock. They don't do that, do they? They go around the rock and they find another way in order to, in order to keep flourishing. And like most humans, we aren't like that. Uh, when we hit the first hurdle, we just often like, oh, we, we, do, we just feel defeated and when we're feeling defeated or shameful or guilty or any of these emotions, like negative emotions, they're holding us back from fulfilling our full potential and reaching a state of eudaimonia. 
Like we can never flourish fully if if we just um if we've got this pessimistic outlook on life. And you know, I'm sat I'm sat here talking to the camera now and I'm in this good mood. I'm like I'm in a good a good place I'd say right at this moment, which maybe I wasn't so much earlier because I was feeling frustrated and I was I was being a little bit like my friend, a little bit um nihilistic or ex existential about things, but you know what we are here on the surf. We are here on the surf and we do have to make the most of it for whatever reason that may be and uh, I think often that is a subjective reason because perhaps the earth and reality doesn't have an objective meaning behind it. Perhaps we do have to do some work and create those meanings for ourselves, whether that be to like bring good to the world or just to be simply happy or perhaps we've got because like we're, we're human beings we have passions don't we and we have drives and we have like innate desires which make us want to go in a certain direction or maybe like lead us in certain places and I feel like we have to follow that but then again I guess that could get problematic if your innate desire was to kill every human being on the planet because that would be problematic and obvi obviously you wouldn't be able to fulfill that desire of yours but then maybe yeah because that 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 is true for some humans isn't it like look at psychopathy and um and other mental disorders like that like people like they generally literally can't fit into society because their brain doesn't work in the same sort of way and obviously no two people's brains work in the same way but when someone's like trying to cause social disharmony oh it's so hard like talking about morality because there's like it's like a line and it's like an extremely blurry one and it, um like because we have things that we consider to be good and we have things that we consider to be bad like objectively as a society and not just as a society but as a race like uh there seems to be like universal trends i guess in the way that people um perceive morality and ethics uh, for example, killing is seen as bad in many different parts of the world and it's not done unless, of course, uh, it's in the context of war or unless, of course, it's justifiable. But I, is killing ever really justifiable unless... But then again, I guess it is sometimes, isn't it? Because uh, what if a person has raped an entire family or has raped so many children and... It, like, does that person deserve to die? Uh, debatably, yes and no. No, because it's a mental disorder. And I guess they can't really help the feelings they get towards children. But no, they don't really deserve... Wait, well, yes, they do really deserve to die because they can control their actions. And yeah, because I guess we all have unpo impulsive thoughts at some points in our lives. And uh, maybe those thoughts aren't like in particularly the nicest um but we don't all act upon them do we like um someone might make us really angry and we may like say in the like in the heat of the moment that oh i could like punch him in the face or i could kill him but you don't literally mean you're gonna kill him uh jesus actually talked a little bit like that and he said that uh thinking like negatively towards another person is actually just as bad as committing the crime itself because it's these negative thoughts in the first place which actually lead you to commit the sin which actually lead you to commit the murder so uh, you're just as guilty for having those thoughts and yeah and um i don't I, i'm not religious in any way at all and i don't believe in like heaven and hell but i'm just saying like from jesus's perspective and things like that like um he said that God would treat you how you treat other people. So if you're perceiving other people in a bad way, then God's going to perceive you in a bad way. But uh, what is God? Who is God? Is like because a lot like in the Christian sense, I guess he's this man who sits in the cloud and watches over us all. But I don't, I don't believe that to be true. I think God is energy. I think God is everything. Like we are God. Like the, the nature's God. Like all the building blocks to life, they are God. <laughs> And um, it's built itself up. Because it does sound... Um... Yeah, I guess it's just our explanation for it, isn't it? Like, we characterise God as a man. But why would... 
the creator of the universe be a human? Like, I don't quite understand that. <laughs> and I, I guess, I guess in that sense, he's not really a human. And we're like made in the essence of God. It's all just so like stupid. It's bullshit. Just listen to me. Like that. God did not create the world. Like I think we've got the idea of God mixed up. I think an extremely magical thing has happened in order to be able to create this reality, but I don't think it was God. I think it's uh, purely down to science and um, other things like that. And even I can't be 100% certain. I can't say there's definitely no God at all because I, I just can't say that. I can't disprove the fact that there is a God and I can't prove the fact that the there isn't. I think I think those two things mean the same thing, but you get the idea, don't you? It's so weird, like the way things are, like they're just like because everything right here, it could have like occurred completely different. Like nature could have looked completely different in this specific spot, but for some reason, this is the way it is. And of course, it had to happen one way or another. So I guess maybe. If it had happened another way, we could have like fantasized about it happening this way or another way. Like it's just, it's just pretty cool the way it did happen. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, the sun's gone down uh, nearly. Um, yeah, so it's I don't know. I get <laughs> I do like life. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I don't really like it. Because sometimes I guess I, I just get a little bit caught up in the system, uh, <laughs> like the education system. And then um, there's like relationships with other people, like uh, not just relationships in the traditional sense of like people, two people together, like loving each other. But like, I mean, like um, friendships and family and uh, teachers and things like that, just people in your life, like um that can get complicated, but it can also be a very beautiful thing at times, like when you're able to share experiences with people, but yeah, I guess it doesn't always, um, yeah, I guess you, you can't always be resonating on the same frequency as another person and you can't always have things your way and you can't always um, expect things to go in a certain way with a person and that's okay because, um, yeah, I guess we're all individuals and we're all experiencing this reality in different sorts of ways and um, yeah, that's all right. Just, <laughs> oh, just got to keep going, haven't we? But it, it should be more than just keeping going. It should be like thriving. It should be like really appreciating this reality, but I guess we have to be in it and we have to live in it and we have to get, I guess we have to follow the fabricated systems of humanity and um, abide by the capitalist ideology in a capitalist society which is run by inequality and yeah and that's kind of sad but I guess um if we can focus on our own spiritual growth and our own emotional well-being and obviously try and help the help other people through issues as well and try and like spread positivity then that's a good thing but still it doesn't it doesn't abolish inequality and it doesn't stop all these world problems but I guess um world problems you can, you can never really stop them and perhaps we need the problems in the world to be able to appreciate the good things oh my homer comes bluer uh yeah anyway I think I'm gonna end up that video here because I've been talking for quite a little while and yeah okay all right I'm gonna go home now uh thanks for watching bye